this is how to build a roadmap website in Notion for your, probably for your startup, for your product, for your indie SaaS, for whatever you might need a roadmap for. What we'll do is we'll use Simple.Inc, our very own tool, which has a generous free plan, so this costs you nothing to start. And we'll be taking a Notion page and turn that into a publicly available roadmap. Um, this works just as fine if you don't have the page ready. I'll walk you through that. And uh, actually, let me jump into it. This is step zero. If you already have a roadmap page in Notion, you can skip to step one. Make sure you use the timestamps below. Um, if not, you start by going to this link right here. It will be linked in the bio. Uh, make sure you scroll and click. And once here, just go down and maybe use this button here, templates on the sidebar. And we will just make use of a template. So we have a collection of free templates, um, not only roadmaps, also other sorts of stuff. So I'll let you explore. We've organized them neatly over here on categories. I'll let you go through them. Um, pick a, let's say we'll pick this one, pick a template, use this button right here in the upper right corner, which says duplicate, and just select a workspace. Um, if you click that, you will make a carbon copy of that page. I already have mine here. And what we'll do is, uh, that was it for, for step zero. What we'll do is go in the same upper right corner, look for this button called share, and for step one, what you want to do is, I want to start focusing this properly. What you want to do for step one is uh, click on this on off ticker for share to web. So by default that is turned off, make sure you turn it on. And you want to click copy on this link right here, not any other link, not this, not this, this one right here, copy. Um, if you don't want to risk messing it up or if this feels too complicated, we also offer an alternative. We have a Chrome extension, uh, link below for where to get it out of the Chrome web store. Um, what you do is if you click it and then click the big blue shiny button, it jump starts, it skips a couple of steps for you. But um, let's say you're not doing that. Let's say you just copied your link from here. What you wanna do is go back to the, to actually to any page on simple.inc, anywhere you see something like this, paste your link here or in the upper right corner, it should be there all the time, or maybe even on the home page. If you paste it, and then you click once again, the blue shiny button, you will be at the very same step where you also could get to, if I guess option three, if you already have websites built, click add a new website, paste the link here, and that's it. So you're halfway into doing it by this point. What the only thing left to do is select a subdomain. So, um, Everybody starts on a free plan. You can always change the subdomain dot simple dot ink subdomain at a little point. So no biggie there. If you make a mistake or if you change your mind, you don't need to sit down and, and think too hard for that. But I highly suggest if there's any available, uh, if the subdomain you want is probably, you know, wanted by others, hurry up and get it up because if somebody else gets it, you won't be able to get it anymore. So I highly suggest you do that today. Um, but if you have a custom domain, you will be able to add it later. And I have to say, if you own uh, sneakers.com, you could also use a subdomain for a custom domain. So what I mean by that is your simple .think website could be on roadmap.sneakers.com. It doesn't have to be sneakers.com, which by the way, beautiful domain to have. Um, for the time being, let's keep it simple. I'll just say sneakers.com roadmap. I'm purposely choosing an ugly URL so I can leave the beautiful ones for you guys. But once I pick a, a URL, I'm just looking at once again, the beautiful shiny blue button. I'll click, let's launch it and boom, as, as by the time we've finished, you know, talking about this, the website was already published. Your website is live here. Um, let's actually have a look. There you go. We're having a uh, replication of the Notion page. And um, I have to mention that some pictures will not be loaded simply because the template might be using here and there pictures from some other places. If that's the case, the only way to hedge against that is to use pictures in Notion, which I, I suppose that's the default way to do. You could link them from websites, 
but then the pictures won't be able to be taken. If you do link them in Notion, add them in Notion, then no biggie, it's all working fine for you. Um, the most beautiful part of doing all this is that if I do a couple of changes here, they are instantly transferred here. So at any point when you make a new block or you make some change, or maybe even you want to fix a typo, just go to your Notion page. You don't even need to see us. So we've made it so that you see us. Although we want to see you, we probably love you and like you. Uh, we've made it so that you don't have to see us as much as you know other website builders would make you do. Um, so as I said, any changes here are instantly reflected if you refresh a couple of times. This happens solely because of the cache um, that the cache system that we have on our website. If you have taken this on a new device, you could see that it is instant. But the cache uh, system requires a couple of refreshes up until these things apply. But as you've seen, any changes here are instantly applied to the live website. And that's beautiful because as, as time goes by, as multiple people, probably from your team, hopefully, are adding stuff in the roadmap, they all get transferred, they all get synced automatically. So you don't need to worry about anything like that. You just keep doing your thing in Notion, in your workspace, or this also works with a free Notion plan. No need to have a paid one. You can even do um, share, allow editing. You can send that to somebody and you know the changes are applied to the page so they will be synced to the live website. But that's pretty much it. You can add a custom domain if you go here on the sidebar to site customization domain. Uh, we do charge for that. So you, you can stick to a free plan if you're not looking to spend at the moment, but you will need a paid plan to add a custom domain. Um, obviously, site title or a favicon, favicon being uh, this thing right here, could be added as well. And I'll let you explore the rest. Custom code is probably for power users. If you know what you're doing, knock yourself out. If not, ignore that. You don't need it. But this is how to build a public roadmap uh, website in uh, with Simple.Inc through Notion. Um, let me know in the comments below what else we can clarify for you or uh, what other types of guides you'd like us to do. But um, without, any, without telling you anything else, I'll let you explore Simple.Inc and see for yourself whether it fits you, whether it doesn't. If it doesn't, please do me a favor in here in the lower right corner. We can take any kind of criticism. Just let us know why that is or isn't the case. We can take it. And we also want to be like this to our users about um, feedback and any kind of opinion you might have. But um, that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you in the next video.